All right, what's going on, Shaholics, and welcome back to another video. And we're back up here in North Jersey today. And by the way, new Fishaholic hats are up for sale. I'll put the link in the description. Check them out, they're pretty cool. And uh, last week we were up here, we went out for some muskie and as well walleye. And we caught the walleye pretty good. Didn't catch a, mu a muskie, I, which I was expecting. But uh, since we were down at the Jersey Shore for a few days, surf fishing day in and day out and everything we've pretty much been catching or rat size you know schoolie size bass you know 15 to 25 inches i figured we'll uh, come back up go for walleye early this morning it's a little after dawn and today it's supposed to be overcast low winds so those are good condition for walleye and we'll try for walleye early this morning then for the day we'll troll for musky cast for musky see what happens and then as the day gets later we'll uh go back for some walleye and uh, let's see what we can do. I still want to get that muskie in the yak and if we can get some nice walleye today, that'd be pretty sweet. Look at all this snow we got here on the ground. But uh, it's a little chilly this morning. I think it's supposed to get up to about like 38, 40 degrees, so it won't be too bad as long as the winds lay low. And since we're trying to crunch some time this morning, I'll pick things back up once we're out in the yak. So I'll see you guys out there. All right, we're right on time. First light bite, <laughs> it's like 8.30. So we had a lot of rain since I was last out here and uh, it's still down like five, six feet. But um, hopefully when we troll for musky, we still are able to see the weed edge because last time we were here, it was actually pretty cool. You know, you can use your fish finder and your sonar to kind of mark where the weed edge is, but if you can see it and then you can troll right along it, I think that's a great way to, to be right in that ambush point where muskie are gonna be hanging out, or that's where I, where I think they'll be hanging out. Um, but uh, now we're heading out to our main lake walleye spot. So I'm trying to find these pile of boulders that should have some walleye on them. And we're gonna cast as far as we can and bring this little Kitek right over these boulders. At least one good thing we got right now is overcast and light winds. That'll make trying to get some walleye a little easier for us. If it was really, really windy right now, I'd probably just be jigging because it would be hard to fish the swim bait with a lot of wind. Last time we were here, it was 41 degrees. Right now I'm reading 39 degree water temperature. I'll be kind of surprised if we get uh, anything more than just one walleye this morning you know it's like it's, it's late you know they like that first 30 minutes of daylight and that last 30 minutes of daylight I've already marked some fish down there there's something here that's a fish i think it's a fish or it's a rock what the heck is this uh, I might have hooked the rock. Or maybe it's a muskie. Got to baby this fish. If this is a fish, this is pretty heavy. Whatever it is. Feels like it's moving, but it's hard to say. No, I think it's like a piece of fishing line or something. Like It, it feels like it's moving. It feels like it's coming up, but I think it's fishing line. Yeah, definitely fish in line. I felt like it was moving or swimming towards me, but my jig was probably just, you know, sliding up the line. And now it feels like it's really buried in there. Damn. Come on off. Wait. I think I got it. Yep, there it is. Fish in line. Knew it. Somehow I broke it free. It's braid, too. Let's uh, wind it up to see we got a lure on it. Probably not, but at least we're cleaning up the lake. Maybe a barrel swivel on there. Nope. All right, so I took off the sexy shad Kitek, put on this gold flash minnow, a little bit darker color. I think might work in these 
a little bit brighter conditions. I'll toss it around, give it a shot. All right, conditions are changing. Sun's coming out a little bit. I'm gonna take a couple more casts for walleye, and then I think we're gonna go out a little bit deeper, see if we can find a hybrid, try that for like 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll start trolling for musky. There's a fish. Something here. Probably not a walleye. If it is one, it's gonna be really small. But at least we got bit. Oh, well, now he's pulling fairly well. All right, we got one. Hey. Conditions are changing quick, too. I didn't think we were gonna get a Wally. Look at that nice little walleye. What's up, buddy? Pretty fish. Is it flat out here or what? At least we broke the ice. That little walleye was kind of what I was expecting this morning. And probably any bigger walleye will come right before dark. What up, dude? Me and Steve would just break away from the pack and we'd start slamming them all by ourselves. I got a fish on. Hold on a sec. Oh, I just lost them. Oh, oh man. Right, dude, I don't want to hold you up. Tell me uh, later on and let me know how you Oh, yeah, I got you. This, dang it. That was, <laughs> I just lost the walleye. I was, trying to, I, was trying to, I was trying to fish and talk on the phone at the same time. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Peace out. All right, peace, man. Dang technology, man. <laughs> Look at this. I'm standing on a glass lake right now in the kayak. was on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> while while trying to fish and I hooked a I had a bite probably another small walleye oh gosh that was a hungry one look at that <laughs> he took my swim shad swim bait kai tech dang it there's another fish oh I lost them again what am I doing gosh I picked it up off the bottom and then I kind of let it just glide back down and he crushed it. And you know, most of these bites are coming way at the end of the cast, so it's sometimes hard to keep them pinned. It does help though, I have a 10 pound braid, eight pound fluorocarbon leader, so I really have no stretch in this line, but you can lose fish. There's another one. Small guy. These fish are snapping though. Good sign. That's probably the little culprit that stole my Kitech before. All right, guys, so we're switching gears now. I think that's about it for the morning walleye bite. And uh, we're gonna start trolling our musky plugs. We're gonna put two rods out. We're gonna put in a solid three, four hours. It's like quarter after 11 right now. So we'll try and go till, you know, around like 3 p.m. or so, see what happens. Probably stop a little bit in between trolling and, you know, just to keep things interesting. Maybe we'll fish some ledges for some bass or, you know, all of the above, whatever is willing to bite. So I'm gonna try and keep the cameras rolling, but uh, there's gonna be a lot of time in between of not a lot going on. So I'm definitely gonna have to power down the camera and conserve battery, but uh, I'll try my best to get that strike. The strike is the best part when you first see that rod double over. And uh, if you guys see up shallow here, you can kinda see where it's really flat, like slick flat. That's the top of the grass, actually, because that's how low the water is. And uh, it, it's, it's so cool because we can just go right along the weed edge. I'm, I'm in 16 feet of water right now, but then I can just go up a little bit right along that edge. 
and it'll probably go up from about like 15 to yeah like it's coming up right now so 15 to like 12 feet i'm probably going to stay you know deeper than 10 11 feet don't want to go any other you know shallow where we'll, where we'll be snagging weeds i got something on here fish on Something small, I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! A little snotty pickerel. Amazing that they'll hit a bait this big. But uh, we're about at the two hour trolling mark. A little under, probably about an hour and like 50 minutes. And we did get a fish though. On something else, feels pretty heavy. Not sure what it is. Feels way heavier than just a little pickerel. Oh yeah, it's a muskie. <laughs> it's a little one though. Oh gosh, now he's jumping. Hey, we gotta start somewhere, you know? We're not gonna put him in the net. We're gonna use the boga. Hey, my first muskie. Heck yeah, man. Hey, what's up little cutie? Not a giant, but good way to start it. Heck yeah, beautiful freaking fish. Look at those spots running along the side there. What's up, buddy? Just want to get a quick measurement on my first ever muskie. And this is just about 24 and a quarter inches. It's not bad at all. There she goes. Hell yeah, man. All right, so not too bad. You know, it wasn't a giant, but you know, go figure. We just caught that little muskie, our first muskie out of this lake on the same point where I think about like, 10 years ago, I was fishing here for walleye, dropped my isopology to the bottom, and right about in the same location was when I reeled up the slack, felt solid weight, and it ended up being like, you know, easily probably a 40 plus inch muskie. But unfortunately, I was using eight pound test line and got the fish to the, uh, the boat, and uh, he respectfully cut me off and went away. But uh, yeah, not a big one, but a good way to start it off. We still got plenty of time it is exactly one o'clock so we just about hit like the two hour trolling point like we just caught the pickerel and then we just put the baits out for like another five minutes trolled by and uh caught our first muskie pretty sweet all right pretty sweet man let's start it up again easily have another two hours we could troll before going back to walleye fishing I'm still smiling that we got a muskie finally. A 24 inch one, basically kind of just like a, a beefed up pickerel, but now we're going for a 40 plus inch muskie. But uh, I mean, really the day is made. Fish on, this is maybe a little bit bigger. Oh, it is another muskie, but another pipsqueak on the perch storm plug this time. That's pretty good, guys. Two muskies in one day. <laughs> See how long he is. A little over 25 inches. This one isn't as girthy as the first one, but a little longer. Still an awesome fish. Like, look at the color creation on this fish. Nice and healthy. Two for two, it's pretty sweet. There he goes. Sweet. All right guys, we're switching gears. It's a little after three o'clock 
and we trolled for probably about another two miles after that second muskie and not even a tap but uh you know what i was expecting to not even get a whole tap the whole time we were trolling for muskie and luckily we got two and uh now i gotta stand up stretch out get some blood to the feet your feet go numb and cold really quick when it's cold out here and you're trolling for a long period of time because your feet are up and you're pushing the drive and you don't get enough blood flow but uh now it's definitely time to switch over see if we can try and get some walleye probably got about an hour and a half left of daylight or until the sun sets so we're not getting bit on the gold flash Kitech. so what we're gonna do is put on the sexy shad i think this brighter color will work a little bit better in the darker light conditions we have you know earlier this morning we put on the gold flash one because it was a little bit darker and the conditions are were brighter so now we're gonna do the opposite I'm really surprised we're not uh, getting bit right now. Around 4.30, 5 o'clock, it's supposed to start raining. You know, we got a front moving in. These fish should be chewing, but you know, if we do catch any, they're probably gonna be like back to back or we're gonna catch them in the, within the same time frame. There's one. Thumped it, man. Freaking thumped it. Okay. Yeah, that's a tank. Way bigger than what we caught this morning. Oh yeah, boy, look at that freaking tank. Oh, <laughs> choked it too. What's up, buddy? Just shy of 23 inches. Not bad. Not too long, but real thick. Down she goes. Back to the depths. All right, not too bad. All right, guys, so I think that's a wrap. And we're actually heading in early. And uh, you see this net right here? It's kind of funny. I hooked this net out of the very depths of Lake Apakong when I was about 12 years old. I was out here on our little 12-foot aluminum Prince Craft boat, just starting to figure out the lake, or actually not really, I probably knew very little much about this lake. I was trying to figure it out, and uh, that was probably one of my first few catches. Probably before I even caught a walleye, I caught that net. And it's funny, I still have it. I forgot my other net at my place in uh, Long Branch. So it was cool to uh, pull off some of the cobwebs and uh, use that net again. But uh, great day on the water. We caught our first two muskie in the kayak, heck yeah. And, uh, you know, we caught a couple walleye in the morning. And uh, I thought those walleye were going to be chewing a lot more this evening. But, um, you know, for whatever reason, those uh, <laughs> funny Hapakon walleye, they uh, probably were there, but we only got one. And uh, I was right on one thing, though. That was a bigger one. You know, I said that in the morning that we probably would have a better shot at a bigger walleye probably right before dark. And we got it done. So, uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to check out the new Fishaholic beanies and hats. I don't even have them yet. That's how new they're going to be or because I'm probably going to get them just this week. And uh, they'll be up on the site, so I'll put the link down in the description if you guys want to check it out. It really helps support the channel and helps keep these videos going if you, get, if you really like them. And, uh, yeah, all the tackle and equipment I'll put down in the description as well. And like always, never forget, live to fish, fish to live, and I'll see you guys in the next one.